is Bunny. Ooh. You are very nice. Like, oh, yo, oh, what's oh, going on? Who's here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special guest. Special guest. The guy has to go. So, you guys, we want to talk today about the keys to a successful relationship. I look at your relationship as a very highly successful one, but I also know that there are some things that you work on, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, um, talk to me about your uh, what makes a successful relationship for you guys. Are we successful? I guess we're successful. I, I, mean, I mean, if we're looking at the baby count. We yeah. have yeah. so many. There's so many babies. Yeah, we're looking at the baby it's count. It's also my addiction, though, having oh. babies. Okay, it's a good one. It's a good we're one. happy for it. Yeah. It's a relatively healthy addiction. Yeah. Yeah. As far as addiction goes. <laughs> okay, so she's obsessed with Daniel. Yeah. Oh, she's in love. Yeah. Um, it's because of his energy. Mm. She loves his energy. She's upset that she's on my lap and not yours. I'm sorry. She she will cry now because she wanted boobies and I denied her. Oh look, there we go. Um, the date. Yeah, successful relationship. Oh, oh, she probably wants a boob in her mouth. Really? I can't. Do you want a boob in your mouth? Do you want one? Is that what you need? Let's see. It looks like she's spotted the boob. Um. I would say, oh, we are massive talkers. Mm-hmm. We talk, 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 talk. And I pick a really fabulous person, mm-hmm. um, Mark, through all oh, his, he's had lots of colourful experiences in his life. Very colourful. And all the, all the colours, every colour. And I feel like it makes him a really open vulnerable, communicative person with beautiful, deep sensitivity that I just love and it makes him really willing and open to discuss everything. He talks about all the things. You're, you're willing yeah, to talk. No. I'm willing to talk. I'm willing to talk. Oh, you that, love. I do. That being said, okay. I totally, just like any other person, I had periods where I totally withdraw. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you do do that. Don't talk. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> It, but you're aware of those periods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I might come back from the darkness. Okay. Come back. <laughs> and does that help? It totally Probably helps. Not. Oh, what? Interesting. Yeah. Really? Well, I thought when I'm you... like, well, because sometimes I'll refer to you as dark, Mark, and mm-hmm. you said that that doesn't well, help. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you call me <laughs> dark, Mark. Yeah, I'm right. like, no, but right. I mean, like, when you're willing, really, when you, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes, we were talking about this last night. I mean, there's a lot of different language that we are, that we are hit to. Um, yeah. Collectively. Through, collectively. Okay. Through therapy, and I through it came self. Through you. Maybe. Some Maybe some from Daniel, sure. some from other folks, some from Stan. Yeah. Um, there, that sometimes we can, what I call weaponize, we can use it against each other sometimes. Oh, I let's give an example. Sure. Like, yeah, that's just example. that. Like, you're being, you know, um, dark mark. Dark mark, or no, or, or if you're saying, and the story I made up about. Oh, right. The yeah. story I made up about that, or what I made up about what you're doing. And I'll do it in a way I'm like, well, what I've made up about what you're doing is you're actually really pulling away from us and making things really hard. Oh, right. So that's not mm-hmm. a good way to have right. that kind Some, of communication. Sometimes it can be a flaw kind of, you know, way of communicating can... Um, you're right. What's nice? Is we can word. sometimes use it against each other. In a you're right. But for the most part, it's been really helpful to um, talk and to know um, what her needs are Mm -hmm. and to say what my needs are. Yeah, we like that. Saying we we know each other's user manual. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I I like like the idea of being available for the other person's needs and taking care of them. I think this is like something we discussed for sure that a successful relationship involves knowing what your partner needs. And giving it to your partner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. If you can figure it out without asking them, great. If you need to ask, ask. So important. So, and that would be helpful if I was like, what do you need from me right mm-hmm. now? Yeah, it'd be great. That's great. It would be great. I like that. They yeah. love these little tools. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do want to share that language. Um, the story I'm making up about this is. Because everyone's perspective is what they've created in their head. So right. the story they've told themselves, Mark's acting like this because of A, B, C, and D. Right. So the way that we, instead of me saying, you're doing this because of, you know, whatever. Because your dad 
wasn't in your life and because of this yeah. instance, and I'm actually like, no, babe, I'm That's kind actually of not. hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm hungry. Right <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. And I, I know that. He's a manual. He's a manual. In bold, it says, must eat before 8 a.m. Must have right. coffee, coffee before 8 a.m. Totally. Yeah, I like, know that. Yeah, you got to I'm like, have you had a chocolate? Have you eaten food? Mm, yeah. No. Okay, so now I know why. Yeah, so you know them. Yeah. But it's great to be like, oh, before I'm making up about this, you're upset with me because of this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you know that it's just my own perspective. Right. Yeah, I'm not you, telling you right. that's what you're doing and that's why. Oh, that's interesting. So, invitational language rather than sort of uh, direction. So, like, Inviting the person in the conversation rather than authoritatively saying you're doing this and you're yeah. doing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that sounds helpful. How do you feel about um, how, like, let's say, for instance, you're pulling away, mm -hmm. and I'm like, um, I'm, I notice that you're pulling away, and that makes me feel afraid, mm. or and that makes so the making me because I always mm -hmm. feel that when we've spoken with a couple of therapists before, the idea of saying that somebody is making you feel a certain way isn't usually helpful. Oh, what is, what's suggested? Do you remember? Like you're making me, it's not, well, it's, I mean, I, 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 I take issue with feeling. that every now and then because I guess the idea behind that is, is that, like, no one makes you feel anything. Yeah. You make yeah. yourself, yeah, which I understand that on some level, yeah. on some level, but I also understand that, like, if I'm, you know, yeah. not talking to you and right. my energy is not great, Totally. Yeah, You're going to be like, fine. oh, yeah. I don't want to be around that. If the room is flooding, it's making me drown. Yeah, right. <laughs> totally. <laughs> right, you right, see right. see something that may be happening. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think that, that language can be useful. Yeah. yeah. But it's just, it sounds like it's uh, tone of voice, knowing when Absolutely. to use it, knowing how to say it, knowing when you're kind of being a jerk about it. Yeah. And when you really mean it authentically. You and know, knowing when to say, sorry, this is my, my shit. Yeah, totally. I think knowing when to say sorry is just great. Like, if your yeah. partner comes to you and, like, I'm so mad and this and you did this and you did this, you know, instead of calling the committee and defending everything, it's starting with, sorry. Yeah, so sorry. I'm, totally. I am sorry about my committee. I always pull out the committee. I lawyer up, as yeah. I said before. Mm, yeah. I need to, I, I'm, I'm trying to soften. Cool. That's something great. I'm working on. It's great. Uh, right. It's great that that's, that's on. Yeah. Come on, I'm working on <laughs> We have evidence. He's evidence. really good at saying sorry. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. really amazing at saying sorry. And you've got <laughs> yeah. a lot of practice. I've got <laughs> a lot of practice. No, but sorry. you are. I really yeah. value that in you. Well, and I good. think I find it harder to mm. say sorry. Mm. But you, you seem to invite cool. him when yeah. he's pulling away, and that's yeah. that's a strength. So you both have different strengths that create this balance, yeah. and in that balance, it exposes things that you're trying to work on, Absolutely. and that's how you're evolving. Mm -hmm. There's another suggestion that we had, um, we were given by Stan, which is to remember that candle idea, lighting a candle, and so you pick a day, and it's just the two of you in the room. Do you remember this? Yeah. And you light the candle, and whoever lights the candle gets 15 minutes just to talk about what they're going through, their feelings, some of their ideas, their perspectives, maybe some issues that they have mm -hmm. with their partner. And the other person in the room isn't able to interject and, you know, come up with a defense. Um, they just have to listen. They just have to sit mm -hmm. and listen. You blow out the candle and the other person lights it and has their 15 minutes. Right, so it's a half hour practice. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, where you just unload feelings, emotions, whatever you're navigating, um, issues you have with the other person. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we've done it maybe twice in our whole history of being together. But I did find it valuable when we've done it. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, we've done it. I mean, we've done it a lot more than that. I mean, it, Lighting a candle. Oh, we haven't. Not but I think we, that's the thing. You, we do that now um, a lot. You know, I'll, and that it's, it, it just gets it back to it's important to connect. You yeah, know? absolutely. Like, um, we're just both aware, especially when you have children as well. But even if you don't, mm -hmm. you know, you you work a nine to five. You, you work a nine to nine. You work a nine, nine to nine. You're just busy all the time yeah. on the phone. So, right. Just and finding that time to connect. And it's almost... So important. It's like what you were saying before. We spend so much time investing in certain aspects of our life, whether we're putting energy into creating a business or going to the gym or 
whatever, you know, eating healthy food. Yeah. You also have to commit the time to working, like, firstly, working on yourself, yeah. working on your relationship. Totally. Mm-hmm. And we find, Mark and I, we do have four children between us. We find it hard to, to have those moments of connection. Mm. And even just the other day, we had some time in the car where our children, we had a babysitter for the children. We only had poets. And we drove for it. We were in the car together for about an hour and a half. And we spent the whole hour and a half just talking. Mm. And it felt incredible to connect. Mm-hmm. But it was specific time that we dedicated mm-hmm. to each other. Mm-hmm. And that is really enriching and healing in relationships, I think. It's just taking that time out. Yeah, because yeah. the idea of like a date night mm-hmm. and all those things, they're a really big deal. They're you know? huge. They're huge. Yeah. And they're cultivating. Like anything, if you put time into something, it's going to grow. Mm-hmm. Right? So what I'm getting from you in your successful relationship if you guys are aware of how to help each other, when you can help each other, if you're aware of some of the blind spots that you're helping mm-hmm. each other evolve into for yourself and yeah. for the relationship, and you guys have practices that uh, you ritualize and made sacred, you know, mm-hmm. like this is a time that we connect, and I think that's yeah. so useful. That's a real tool for people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, to, yeah. To learn how to listen, to have active listening. To be there for your partner. And yeah. try and soften too. Oh yeah, we gotta keep softening. I think we keep gotta keep softening, softening right. with each other. Not always I just getting rid of having to be right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like I do really my best when I go into something and I'm like, you know what? Just just stop, man. Yeah. Just you don't need to be right. Right. Hear what she's saying. Right. Listen to what she's saying, listen to her feelings mm-hmm. and take that in. And when I do that, I always get something out of it. And I realize, oh, you know what? It, I'm sorry. Like, mm-hmm. this isn't, we're, we're fine. This we're is good. okay. We're good. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's way more fulfilling to be of service than to be right. Mm-hmm. Love yeah. that. Totally. So that's what you get. Hey, you guys, thanks so much. How's your relationship going? We want to hear all about it. Tell, Tell us. us. <laughs>